The problem with me is that I have an interest in way too many things, and I gotta do a lot of things that I don't really wanna do. I like to read, I have to work, I like hanging out with my boyfriend, I'm job searching, which has been a fucking pain, I gotta cook, and I just recently developed this hyperfixation on wanting to improve my drawing skills. Almost seems impossible to fit all of that into my schedule. Unless... A lot of people may say that a routine is stifling, but to me, I think that having a routine is freeing. Knowing what you're going to do for the day saves you so much time, which allows for you to do more things in your day. The reason why I say boring is because it can be difficult to stick to things in the beginning, especially when you have to force yourself to do the things that you don't want to do. And to be honest, you have to be okay with having a boring routine. There's nothing wrong with that. Boring can be a good thing. The moment I started embracing monotony and not trying to romanticize every freaking second of every freaking day, it became a lot easier to do the things I don't want to do and make time for the things that I want to do. I've been using AkiFlow, which is a time blocking platform in order to time block my days and consolidate all my tasks in one place in order to be more time efficient with my schedule. My biggest challenge with productivity has always been not making time for the things I wanna do in the day and I constantly have to reschedule and push things back. I love that the app easily syncs up with my Google Calendar. So if I have any meetings, it will just automatically pop up on here and any tasks that I add from my AkiFlow will also be added onto my Google Calendar. AkiFlow is really easy to use. I can drag and drop my tasks onto the calendar and check them off when they're done. I also label my tasks so I can see where they belong and will be organized on the side so I can easily see how many tasks of each label I have. I love that there's an inbox section and a separate task section. The inbox is where I'll put down the list of things I want to do that I don't want to forget, but they're not pertinent and can be added in at any time. When I'm building on my schedule for the next day, I can drag and drop from there and separate them from the today section, which holds tasks that are only meant for that day in particular. If you guys are interested in using AccuFlow for your everyday routine, then please click on the link below. The unrealistic expectation to constantly be in a state of deep focus and productivity is kind of crazy. Everyone has different peak hours and times of the day where their mind is focused and times when it's not. For me, my mind is at peak performance during the mornings, so I tend to start off my days doing the hardest tasks, then as the day goes by, I wind down by doing the other things that don't require that much brain capacity. In the past, I would work night and day, but now I'm starting to learn to unwind a lot more because I'm more familiar with how my brain works. I think I've been craving for more of a work-life balance, and it's been really nice being more mellow and not in a constant state of gotta do this and that. I wouldn't know how to set boundaries before, but I've definitely gotten a lot better. Boundaries are so important. Building a stronger relationship with my life outside of work has almost made me feel more inspired and focused when I am working, which means that I just get more work done and it feels more purposeful. I've always had a really toxic relationship with productivity, tying it really strongly to my self-worth. But now, when I have days where I'm not doing much, it doesn't weigh on me as heavily as it would in the past. As much as this video is about productivity, it's also about being kind to yourself in moments where it's absent. Making time for everything means also making time for the things that intrinsically fulfill you. And as I've gotten older and stepped away from the hustle and grind culture and don't particularly subscribe to it as heavily as I did before, it's made me appreciate more of what life has to offer. Even if it's as simple as making cookies, grabbing lunch and sitting in the parking lot, appreciating nature, making late night pizza.